What's up everyone? Welcome to the Coral Reef Talk. Today we're going to talk about water flow. Water flow is another major component to keeping a successful reef tank. It keeps your food suspended so your fish can eat and it cycles your water throughout your tank. I met up with Terrence from Neptune Systems to talk about their solution to water flow, the wave. Terrence, Neptune Systems has some of the most innovative um, things on the market as far as uh, your pumps, mm -hmm. the dose, your tank controller, how to maintain your aquarium. Today I just wanted to ask you a few questions about water flow and why that's important in the reef tank and what you guys did for flow in the tank. Well, I mean, first and foremost, uh, we're known as a controller company, 20 years in the industry uh, since the original Aqua Controller, uh, and it's what we do best. We're the best in the industry in it. We have tens of thousands of customers out there, and we wanted to carry forward some of the things in, in, that we do with the controller to other products in, in the reef keeping industry. Uh, and the first real product for that was the dose, for dosing your aquarium or doing an ongoing continuous water change. And then the next step was to, to create a water circulation product that could connect right into your apex. You have full control over it. Uh, and you know has a lot of features built in that you don't see in another, uh, in another water moving product. And with the Wave, it all works off of um, Fusion. You can actually log in, see what it's doing. Um, you can control the pump because control is yeah, a big absolutely. thing with you guys. I tell you what, why don't we go and take a look at the hardware real quick? All right, very cool. Let's do that. Okay, so this is a board we have showing off the wave. Uh, what you see here in front of you is one of the wave pumps uh, and the one link module. Uh, the kit that you get, the basic kit that you get, comes with two wave pumps, not just one. Uh, first and foremost, the, the design of the, the wave pump, uh, it can articulate so you get 20 degrees of motion either direction on it. They're very low power. They use about 30 watts a piece. Okay. Uh, they have over 4,000 gallons of flow. Oh, wow. So they really move some water. Yeah. Um, one of the things that's, uh, that's also cool is you can hook up up to three of these onto one of the one link modules. And this module uh, allows you to connect up a lot of different devices into the one link module with one power supply. So it really neatens up the bottom of your tank. You don't have a lot of wires going everywhere. Usually every power head you have has to have what? Separate power. And a control box. And, yep. So you, and a power cord to go to the, the power grid. Uh, so we eliminate most of that, right? I mean, that's why we even have this little display here showing, you know, with our solution versus some of the wireless solutions that are out there, how many less wires you have in our setup. So the other cool thing about the One Link is that, you know, if you have two pumps on here, you have a free, you know, open outlet basically. And you can now, with a new cable, hook up the dose directly into here as well and eliminate the power supply for the dose. And eliminate the Aquabus cable to the dose just by plugging that in. Uh, the, uh, the magnet on here will actually work on up to one inch glass, which is kind of unheard of. No, none of the power heads in this class can work on one inch glass. It's really cool. Real easy to clean. Take the top off, pull out the impeller. You can clean it really easily. Um, again, really cool device. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, the, uh, there's two more accessory ports on here. And those are going to be for future products that we'll release that'll just be switched on or switched off. Okay. Things that you might have on your reef, those small things that you might already have. Again, pulling out some of the wires. Alright, All right, so we're here in front of the Apex Fusion setup. Um, where do we go if we have our wave pump connected and what does it look like and how does it operate in Fusion? Right, so once you plug in your, uh, your one link and then your wave pumps into the one link, you're going to get some tiles that'll come up in the normal tile dashboard up here when you unlock it, right? Okay. But we already have them down here on the dashboard. You're going to get five tiles, okay? And let me talk about what they are. So I'll start from the bottom. We have the wave right here. We have the wave right you know, switch on and off. So this one tells kind of the status of the pump, tells you what the flow of the pump is, um, how fast the pump is spinning, and what the temperature is on the pump. The pumps right now aren't really operating, so that's why it's showing like that. Then this there, you just saw them kick on with the flow. You'll see the RPM come up in a second. Then you have the actual uh, operation for the pump. So if you want to see how they're programmed, you click on the, on the gauge, on the gear, and then you'll get the dots that you can then move around for the intensity. And in the case of 
the other pump, this one's set to inverse, you'll see the actual programming. So the other one was set to be the inverse of this one, right? So this one's set with a Malibu profile. We have all of these profiles that show you different ways, so pulse, etc. You can come back to the dashboard. Again, you see these are the readouts for these two. We have something called flow. And flow is an aggregate measurement that we've come up with for all of the pumps that are running in your tank that are our pumps, right? In this case, the two wave pumps that are in here so that it takes into consideration the volume of water you have and then comes up with a value. It's kind of like the Richter scale. It's not linear. What, it, what it's doing is it's showing you based on at, at over time, right, and, and it's right now and then also with the graph over time, the aggregate flow based on knowing how much water that mode is pushing okay. on each one of those pumps and then using a function that we have to marry those two together. It's not linear. In fact, I can show you in the help screen, you can tell what all the different modes are. And it's in the flow that you can see the, the, the help. That's where it is. Okay. Go to flow, go into help, and it tells you all about it, how it works. It tells you it's kind of like the Richter scale. It shows you it's not linear. And then it gives you some guidelines based on the type of tank that you have, that you might want to have. And you can compare that. So even if you, you know, I have a 150 gallon tank, you have, let's say, a 225 gallon tank, you can compare the numbers and they mean something, right? Okay. Because it's relative to the water volume right. and the modes that we're running. And that's how it kind of works. And then, of course, you have all sorts of alarms and things you can set up if the pump comes off the, the glass and, and, and those really cool things. If the pump overheats because it gets dirty or clogged up, if you get an error, like a snail goes in it, it'll throw an error. You'll see, see all of that. Why don't we take a step over to the tank and actually see the pumps in action? Yeah, sounds like a good idea. So here we are in front of the tank, and we have the waves already set up. They're linked together, infusion programmed, and ready to go. Yes, yeah, so and we've got them on here, a six-foot tank, 150-gallon uh, innovative marine tank and uh, we've got a little program set up just to show you they're barely running right now kind of running in like five ten percent and I'll kick off right now a big standing wave in the tank just with one of our feed modes using there we go. So now you see the pumps come on you start to see a big wave action come in the tank it actually flows the tank quite well um, one of the really cool things about the wave too I think I mentioned it before is when you do a water change, it can actually sense when the water level is too low for it to operate and shuts itself off. So I can take this pump right here, pull it out of the water, and it shuts off. I mean, that shows you the power that we have. You know, you can see the big standing wave that's getting generated in the tank. You see that it comes out of the water, it shuts itself off. If it falls or a snail gets in it, it'll send you an email. Yeah. Very cool. Always like that controllability about Neptune, being able to um, be away from your tank if disaster happens and then, like you said, if the water level gets low, the wave is shut off and you're safe. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also convenient for when you want to clean it. You can just put a bucket next to your tank, pull, pull it out, stick it in the bucket, half a day, stick it back in the tank, never even have to unplug it. But everything for us is about making things, you know, less hassle, more successful, you know, um, making you be a better reef keeper and making it easier for you to do that. Cool, very cool. Thank you, Terrence, yep. for uh, Not a problem, taking man. your time. Glad to have you here at the booth. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you learned something. Leave me a like and a comment down below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It helps out a lot. And we'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. If you want to watch more videos, click the links above. And if you want your very own Duncan Coral t-shirt, follow the link below.